go. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man, let's talk about uh, Danny uh, Garcia and Jose Benavidez Jr., um, another PBC uh, punk boxing chump special. Uh, you know, I don't got no respect for uh, PBC. Somebody asked in one of the boxing groups, why people don't like PBC? And if you got to ask, if you really got to ask that question, why people don't like PBC, Especially of what's going on in the midst with Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence, and uh, especially in the midst of what happened with all the potential big black fights they failed to make, then you a casual, bro. And that's what it is. And a lot of these dudes is casuals because I won't even say ca I'm just casuals. They new to the game, and ain't nothing wrong with that. We need new blood infused into the boxing game, right? We need it. Uh, but a lot of these people don't know how boxing pose to look, and that's the problem. It's like a lot of these women and dudes out here don't know a real uh, dude or a real woman that's really holding them down. Let me put a big B coffee over here. Didn't know that. Uh, they don't know when a real dude or real woman holding them down until they lost them and see how they get treated. Same thing in boxing. I mean, you don't know because you really never experienced it. But, you know, this is a, this a, this a premier boxing chump special and... You know, instead of putting Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia back in the ring together, Danny Garcia don't deserve no tune-up. Whole fucking career been a tune-up. Paul Malignaggi, Robert Guerrero, Rod Salka, you know, Mauricio Herrera, who whooped him. A lot of people thought Lamont Peterson whooped it's been His whole career has been a tune-up. You know, real talk. Ever since he fought Matisse, he ain't had a hard day. He had a, supposed to have a hard day on paper. Now, he had some hard days versus rare Lamont Peterson. But they're supposed to be easy days. I mean, shit. He fought, only the people he fought was Sean Porter and Keith Thurman. That's it. He barely beat Robert Guerrero. Floyd Mayweather, look it up, said he thought Robert Guerrero won that fight. So, I mean, well, I mean, his whole career, for the most part, you know, he ain't had a hard day. It was better when he was with Golden Boy. At least he had to earn something. That dude ain't earning a hard day, day, day's work. Real talk. That dude ain't earning a hard day's work. Just being real. Just being honest. But, um. But yeah, you know, it's a fight nobody asked for. Shit. Who, who asked for it? Nobody. And you lack dates, and now you're sharing dates. Not only are you sharing dates with Showbox, you're sharing dates with Jake Paul. And you give us Danny Garcia, Jose Benavidez Jr. You know, you have us Mark Miyash on Ray Vargas. Like, if you're not going to have that many dates, then you need to be putting on the biggest, best fights. July is a total bust. Somebody care about Danny Garcia no more. We're talking about I'm a big Tim, a big ticket puller, man, bro. Nobody care. People gonna show up to that fight because it's close to Philly, and New York ain't had too many uh, sporting events. That's why. Well, I think about this fight. I hope Danny Garcia loses. How about that? I like Danny Garcia, but I'm really tired of the, the you know, the lack of dates, lack of regular TV dates, the premier TV dates. And a lack of excitement, bro. Jose Benavidez, no offense to him, he looked like trash his last few fights. He looked like utter bullshit. How did he deserve? How did he earn this fight? You know? And if Danny Garcia don't beat him in six rounds, I really, like, he need to retire. He should retire already fighting. Talking about, I'm about to go up there and fight Lara. They can't, they can't get Andre out of Jamal Charlo to get in the ring with Lara. Right? Even when he get the WBA belt, now he gonna fight welterweights like Danny Garcia and Keith Thurman. They rather, they, Thurman, Thurman and Garcia rather go fight uh, Arizona Lara instead of fight Terrence Crawford. First it was, I'm gonna be at well, welterweight for a while. They said at welterweight all the time. Now it's time to fight Terrence Crawford this year. Neither one of them niggas wanna step up to the plate. Danny Garcia talking all that shit, but he could have stepped in there with Terrence Crawford. He said, oh, I'd like to fight Crawford, but not my next fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not my next fight. If anything, it should have been Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman this month. A rematch on regular TV. 
That's what it should have been. Jose Benavidez Jr. should be nowhere near a main event until he proved that he can, he can hang Jermaine with the upper echelon opponents. You know, he should be no he should be nowhere near a main event. You know, he should be nowhere near a main event. He shouldn't be in he shouldn't be in 45 feet of a main event. <laughs> you know, he should be nowhere near a main event. And I'm just, and I'm just being honest, I ain't hating on him or nothing like that, but he should be nowhere near a main event. Nowhere near. But, I mean, it is what it is. If Danny Garcia struggled with him, I don't want to see Danny Garcia ever in the boxing ring versus Terrence Crawford versus Crawford Terrence versus Errol Spence versus uh, Josh Taylor versus Taylor Josh versus Get Back Crackhead Joe from South Philly. I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him. I already don't want to see him now. Whole career been trash at 140. Excuse, so we was we was close to winning that fight. It was a close fight. Oh, we, you know, I don't like trying to hear that. Him and him and his him and his wishy. Well, I wish his daddy had the same energy that he has some some of these dudes. Earl Spence beat you every round. You should retire after that. Earl Spence plumbed you every round. People want you to pass the torch to Jerron in this. You like no 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 no. People want to see you fight Terrence Crawford. No, 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 no. If you ain't going to fight them dudes, nobody want to see your slow ass at 154 pounds. You slow as hell at 47. You were slow at 40. You know? Come on. You trying to fight Arizona Lara. Did you see what Keith Thurman did to you, dude? You know? Did you see what Keith Thurman did to you? You know? And you going to fight Jose Benavidez Jr. Like, that's going to tell us what? You know, you could have warmed up in the gym. You could have did with Sean Porter. One of the Sean Porter fights fell off because of Keith Thurman. He sparred my boy Leonardo Tyner on YouTube, on Facebook Live or something like that. Yeah, do that shit. Do that. But I don't think much of that fight. And it's no, I don't have no ill will towards Jose Benavidez. And this really ain't no ill will specifically versus Danny Garcia. Just tired of the punk chump, punk boxing chumps, tired of that shit, can't I can't wait till they go out of business, boy, that'd be the best day in boxing history, you know, I'm not gonna go as Kobe said, as far as Al Hamid being Black Hitler, but, you know, he, you know, ever watched the Umbrella Academy on Netflix, he is the apocalypse in boxing, he is, I mean, yeah, but I don't think much about that fight, I don't think much about Jose Benavidez Jr.'s last few hours, saying he had the leg issue, and he got a family to feed. And I like, you know, Jose Benavidez Sr. I love David Benavidez. Hell of a fighter. Hell of a family. Daddy, hell of a coach. You know, but I'm going to speak my mind. And, you know, he got to show us something. He admitted his last album wasn't so good, but Garcia can't get this dude out here in about six rounds. He should, he should walk away from the game. He's talking about his power. He got a 54. Let's see. He should walk away from the game. I hope Benavidez win, to be honest. I hope Benavidez, you know, I hope I hope he outbox Danny Garcia. I don't never want to see Garcia in, a, in, a, in no, nowhere near Square Circle. You made your money. You're not hungry no more. You know, you say you love to fight. If you love to fight, then you come and versus the biggest, best fights. You know, potentially they want Terrence Crawford to come back off a year layoff and fight Errol Spence. He ain't asking for no tune-up. Meanwhile, Danny and Keith trying to get tune-ups before the bigger fights. Keith want to get a tune-up and fight for an Errol Spence. You had your whole career to tune up before fighting him. Like I said before, I don't think much of this fight. Jose Benavidez, I'm pulling for him to win the fight, but it's going to be an uphill battle um, for him. You know, but I love Gary Anton Russell on the undercard, but they're not making the most of these dates, bro. They're giving him a trash fight, and they can't afford him. Al Hammond can't go to these niggas and be like, maybe it's minimums in their contracts. So maybe it's minimums in their contracts. Caleb Plant said he got paid three times 750k. I think it was the fight he had in Nashville. You paying Caleb Plant damn near three million dollars, there lies your problem. That's why no TV. That's why no TV deals want to mess with boxing. Cause they not they not worth their weight in fucking fake money. Let alone real money or gold or silver or platinum. Talent they ain't worth their money worth in, in weight. And it's another bullshit fight. 
And I can't wait to buy a Con Porter plug on them niggas. Don't even put them on Paramount Plus. You know, 60 Minutes been on TV for years, and I just wonder who watch it. All right, who watching it through these years? Boxing can't even get a deal. Showtime can't even, you know, get Crawford some money. CBS don't even, can't even put boxing on, on BET or BET Plus or, um, or on C, regular CBS or shit, MTV, Nickelodeon doing all types of shit. So, no, I don't think much of this fight. And, no, I'm going to stream the shit out there. I have been got rid of Showtime. Ain't nothing on there to watch. I don't even know how they still in business. I don't watch HBO neither. I do got HBO Max though, so. But yeah, I don't watch no damn Showtime. Why y'all got Showtime? Ain't nothing to watch. Y'all can show y'all how to fire stick all that with great quality. They ain't got nothing. They don't got nothing to watch on Showtime. You know, but I, I think Danny Garcia gonna win the unanimous decision. I think he win the unanimous decision. And you know, if Lara, if Lara don't if Lara don't knock out Danny Garcia, if they fight next for the WBA box title that Triple G more than likely gonna be stripped of. If Lara don't knock out Danny Garcia in three rounds, four rounds, man, retire. Both of them niggas born as hell to watch. You know, the PBC should ask half they roster to retire. Omar Figueroa, Adrian Broner, trash at this point in their careers. Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, Arizona Law, trash. Ask him to retire. I'd rather see Barrios come back before all of them. These are Barrios being some exciting fucking fights. At least he want to fight top opposition and ain't asking for tune-ups and shit. Trash. Trash. <laughs> all them niggas. They should have them in 400 final fighters of trash. They should have a good. They should have a good 50 fighters. 30 of them being just you know. Well, I say 10 of them being, you know, top prospects. 20 just being, you know, friends, contender, bums. You know what I'm saying? And 20 top fighters. And 10, I can, well, well, 30 of them being bums. I don't know. 10 being good, 10 solid prospects for them. Because they don't really get them, them active. And it should be 20 bums. I, I... Really, that really, them niggas need 40. How about that? And the rest, top fighters, contenders, and stuff of that nature. Oh, shit. It's a raid right in front of my damn face. Damn, that nigga got the chopper like a motherfucker. I swear to God, I come down my street and it's a fucking police raid. These niggas recording this shit. Oh, my God. I swear to God. That nigga got the whole motherfucking chopper out of the police. I don't even know if I want to go home now. Something told me to take. Something, something told me to take the other street. Shit, they jumped out on my boy. I don't know, man. I walk by the house all the time. You got the old school colors out there. Oh, this nigga then came around the corner. They looking for somebody. I think he done ran this shit, man. If I was you, I'd go the other way, nigga. <laughs> them niggas in came around the corner and shit. I'm trying to get the hell out the way. I gotta go to the grocery store and shit. I'm trying to get the hell out the way, bro. I will put that shit on camera. You know how YouTube is. And I wonder if they gonna leave that nigga cut this there. Shit, I, oh, he going to jail? I'll offer you a couple of dollars for it. <laughs> Been thinking about trying to get it from him. Shit, I'm gonna have to find. I could put it in my back. I had to find somewhere to put it in my backyard. Yup. We won't be walking that way today. Miles when police come, Miles don't say shit. Somebody can't, they came looking for somebody that ain't even live here. That nigga just quiet as hell. But nonetheless, day in the life in Detroit. But I appreciate y'all. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase chance of notifications. I got Danny Garcia and Amos decision. Um, uh, Kat, you want to sign up financially? Don't uh, the channel just hit my link tree, hit my link tree link first link in the description. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash, App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast. New podcast up right now. Pre appreciate you guys. Link tree take you everywhere. Follow me on Twitch. Peace.